models. Well, I hate to be the one to sales pitch you guys. Fusion does have AI and generative design built into it. Let's go. But outside of that is best attempt at qualifications to the engineers at my company, and they immediately refuse to participate. I could I could relate to that quite well. So it looks like Alex was trying to get more people on board, but maybe now that he's here, showing that they'll represent and sign up themselves. Yes, exactly. But outside of that, we got Dom over here, and it looks like Dom has been in one Two Tall Toby tournament. Yep. So he's been in it, but has he won it? How far did he make? He made it to the top four. Top four. Yeah. So this is familiar ground. Yeah, he got he got fourth place. He came in right behind Aaron, who got third place. That's crazy going into this. All right, guys, here we go. Let's do this. Let's get into this next match. This next battle between Mr. Alex, our number two seed from Latvia running SolidWorks and Dom, our number 10 seed from the United States running SolidWorks. SolidWorks versus SolidWorks action. Here we go, guys. This could be Dom's chance to advance to the final four for the second year in a row, or this could be Mr. Alex's chance to put, put a stop to Dom, stop him right in his tracks. This next CAD battle begins in three, two, one, go. What is the mass of this part in XXX grams? Tolerance on this part is plus or minus one gram. It's a millimeter part, plain carbon steel, and it is a sheet metal part, sheet metal angled brace. So both of our runners are grabbing a screen capture. Everybody in the chat is grabbing a screen capture. They're both jumping into their 3D CAD. Let's take a look and see how these SolidWorks users approach this challenge. Dom is currently ahead 1.0, but you got to win two points to advance to the final four. Both of our runners beginning on the front plane. Both of our runners creating exactly the same sketch on that front plane. I like it. I like it. Rockcrawler in the chat says, yay, sheet metal. Guys, if you like sheet metal, put a one in the chat for sheet metal. We love seeing these sheet metal challenges here at Too Tall Toby. I feel like sheet metal is the only thing I cringe every time that I would have to draw something from somebody else's design. Okay. Not not something that you're doing a lot of? It's not something I'm doing a lot of, but you have to think different when you're working with sheet metal, it seems like. You yes. can't take the typical approach. Like I see both of these guys going out there and using what we would call in Fusion the flange tool and kind of creating those profiles. And it's just, it's a different way. I, I even used to create videos on being a guy that likes off-roading, I did some cardboard templates that you bring in, but then you got a flat pattern That's cool. and put it back together. And it's just, it's different when you got to worry about things folding. Let's put it that way. Yep. Yep. Exactly. Yeah, that's cool. So you got to, so you have to like figure out what the bend allowance is for like corrugated paper or for cardboard. That's cool. I like that. I like sheet metal. I came from kind of a sheet metal background. So when I see this kind of stuff, I get really excited. And I love seeing how the runners um, approach these types of things. I like Dom. Look at Dom. He cut out that corner, and then he decided to edit that sketch and add that center cut as well so he can just include it all in that one sketch. That was a pretty smart pivot right there. No, I, I love that technique. I tell people that all the time in your timeline. I mean, if you're looking at a 2D view and you think just X, Y, you could put a lot of things in a sketch without having to have a lot of sketches. And speaking of sketch techniques, do you notice what Dom, what feature Dom just used there in his sketch? I don't even want to talk about it. None other than our old friend, the slot tool. We love the slot tool. Yeah, it's something that really, like, I, I realized after watching all these pro runners, like, how much I was underutilizing that tool. I'm not going to lie. I, after, after being, you know, a part of this and being a co-host, I think I'm kind of obligated to back up some of my talk now and make a few videos on some of these parts. I gotta yeah. prove my credibility. Well, you know what? I, th I think what, we, what we'll end up doing is what you and I will be working together some more and we'll we'll do some collaboration together. We could do some live streams where you and I are maybe like going head to head, modeling these things like you and Fusion and me and SolidWorks and we could talk about the similarities and the differences. I think something like that the audience would really like. I mean, if we're going to do that, then we're going to have to go head to head, you doing cam. But don't worry, I'll help you along the way. Oh, yeah, I'm in. I'm in. Well, I'm not as fast as these guys. I'm just the guy who puts this stuff together. I get, you know, I get all the time in the world to put it together. These guys are the wizards. Hey, I, I agree completely. After all the years of training people, it's like, man, I'm going to show you how to build a dog house. And then you're going to go figure out how to build a real house, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I like that. That's cool. 
I, I love nothing more than helping somebody out and going, wait a minute, how did you do that? Like that, I've never seen that or ever thought to do it that way, right? Yep. So Dom, looking at that sketch there, it looks like he had a misplaced uh, midpoint relationship, but he was able to figure out what it was. He grabbed a blue point and moved it around. Always good to, to know how to uh, troubleshoot. And now we see he's creating an edge flange coming off of that relief area. Uh, we see Mr. Alex on the left has almost the exact same geometry and also creating that exact same edge flange at the exact same time. So cool. Two different users, two different parts of the world, both creating the same feature at the same time. Very, very cool. It's definitely a very interesting approach when you consider how they're able to create those reliefs much deeper in the part than the standard reliefs would have been. But I'm almost curious too, knowing what Fusion can do, you could have kind of done that flange without it and then extended your reliefs. Yeah, the problem is, as, a, as the game master, the problem is um, I can't use the standard relief because the standard's going to be oh. different for the different CAD systems. So I have to go in and put an oversized one in there just so that I can define it. And also so you can see the dimensions on the print. Some interesting uh, challenges you come into when you're creating the prints. We might have to work together on seeing if we can come up with a standardized sheet metal template for everybody. Yeah, that's actually, I do have a question on that, which I'm going to ask at the end of the live stream to you. Right? The biggest, the, the big, the most common question people told me to ask you, knowing you were coming on the show. So we'll save it though, because I feel like these guys uh -oh. are getting really close. Uh oh. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to get put on the spot here. Yeah. They said, Fusion Phil's coming on the show. You got to ask him about this. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. So we see here Dom on the right uh, creating this slotted cut up at the top. Uh, Mr. Alex on the left already has that slotted cut, already has those fillets in his model. So this is really neck and neck. They may be kind of coming down to the final feature at the same time here with this final hole. We see it looks like Dom is opting to use the Ivan exploit for the location of that hole. And we're going to keep an eye on the chat here. We're going to be seeing an answer coming in here any moment. And that answer coming from Dom is four, nine, seven grams. And guys, we have a final four winner here in Dom from the United States. Congratulations, Dom. You have achieved victory. You're back in the final four again. Mr. Alex, hot on his heels, was just finishing up that same feature. And wow, guys, what a match. What an awesome matchup from these guys. I love that Dom was able to get an Ivan exploit in there in the end as well. Congratulations to both of our runners and what a great match from these guys. Thank you guys so much for being a part of this and uh wow wow wow. This is this was awesome. That was uh that was a great run from both of those runners. Both of those runs really all of our runners today. We had some awesome runs from everybody today. Whoops. I mean, at this point, you might have the actual uh, Alex exploit, if I've seen it. Instead of putting two ears <laughs> in the right direction, he's got one two separate one, directions. One down, one up. I like it. Yeah, that could be the Alex exploit. I like it. I like it, the Mr. Alex exploit. Wow. That was awesome. Good job, guys. Good job to everyone. Phil, I do want to ask you this question, but don't forget, guys, put a GG in the chat. Put a like in the chat. If anybody has to leave, I understand if you got to leave, and that's okay. Uh, but my question for you, Phil, is... What's the deal with Fusion templates? Can you make templates in Fusion? Can you set up like a material and a unit system? Or do you always have to go in and make